Jewelry galore, shining bright with English vocabulary. Hello, English learners. Today we're going to dive into the dazzling world of jewelry. From necklaces to bracelets, rings, and more, we'll learn the English terms for these beautiful accessories. Let's sparkle up your English vocabulary. In this section, we're going to discuss some of the most common types of jewelry. Jewelry is a category of accessories that people wear for decoration. It often carries personal or cultural significance. Let's start with a few examples. Necklace. This is a piece of jewelry worn around the neck. Necklaces can be simple chains, or they can have pendants, a decorative piece hanging from the chain. Bracelet. This is worn around the wrist. Bracelets can be made of different materials, like gold, silver, leather, or even threads for friendship bracelets. Ring. A small band typically made from metal, worn on the finger. Rings can be decorative, or they may symbolize commitment in the case of engagement or wedding rings. Earrings. These are worn on the ears. Earrings come in many styles, including studs, hoops, and dangling earrings. Beyond the basics, jewelry can become quite elaborate and often comes in coordinated sets. Here are some terms related to more detailed pieces. Brooch, a decorative pin that you can attach to your clothes. People often wear brooches on jackets or dresses. Cufflinks, these are used to secure the cuffs of dress shirts. They are often made of metal and can be quite decorative. Jewelry set. This usually includes a matching necklace, earrings, and bracelet. Sometimes, it might also include a ring. Locket. A pendant that opens to reveal a space for a small photograph or keepsake. Jewelry is made from a variety of materials and often features precious gems. Let's look at some vocabulary related to this. Gold, silver. These are common metals used in jewelry. Gold can be yellow, white, or even rose, pinkish, while silver is typically a white-gray metal. Gemstone. A precious or semi-precious stone that is cut, polished, and used in jewelry. Examples include diamonds, rubies, emeralds, and sapphires. Pearl, a hard, shiny object produced within the soft tissue of a living shelled mollusk. Pearls are often used in necklaces and earrings. That's all for today's lesson on jewelry vocabulary. I hope you've enjoyed our tour through the shiny, glittering world of these lovely accessories. Practice these words, and you'll be able to describe not just the jewelry you see, but also the one you might want to buy or wear. Keep learning, keep shining, and see you in the next video.